Hello everyone, I am Cali of Gaming and welcome back to another episode of the Motorsport Manager Zero to Hero series. This is episode 15 and today we're going to uh, Munich Grand Prix. So first of all, let's just change the very tired pit crews with like 10%, which is crazy. And there's the rear jack was like red and we're going to swap him out. And there is one, the ref the refuel guy needs to get needs to be changed, but we don't have a great guy. And uh, yeah, we can change it with one of the guys with green. That's slightly less performance. But I mean safety is more important. So yeah. So let's go to the car. Should be all fine. Let's build our front wing. Should be the last part we'll build uh, this season because you don't have enough money. And uh, yeah, it's, it is a problem to be fair. It is, but um, yeah. So let's go to the inbox, NBC. Um, of course, it's down to drivers. Yeah, really. It's down to him, Laxanen. So, it's not really my fault. My own, like, good. It's his driving skills that promote his, him up to the podium. So, let's go to the cart side, car side again. And, uh,. It's pretty fine and let's go to sponsors and there's some pretty decent ones of course there are only three star but I can't do anything we're gonna now nah, I'm gonna wait for a bit let's see slot two slot two nah these are not too good really so let's just sign the BWT sponsor and uh, yeah it should be all right it is I think it's quite good to be fair so yeah and uh, let's go back to the pit crews should be all fine and I'm gonna auto manage it uh, with one of the mechanics and uh, yeah I'll just leave it there don't want to handle it my own, handle it by my own so yeah it's improvement I'm gonna change it all to reliability side and uh, put some performance need some I think we're gonna go for gearbox here yeah, gearbox is lacking majorly and a front wing so we're gonna put that front wing in and uh, we're gonna put gearbox is done so um, next thing is brakes actually so yeah, probably brakes. I don't know. Uh, maybe rear wing. Um, nah, actually brakes. Brakes should be all fine. And uh, yeah, let let it settle down, I guess. So um, let's fast fast forward it a bit, and let's put our new front wing, brand new, pretty decent of a front wing, and. Uh, yeah, and these dumb drivers, Carlos Sainz, of course, really good driver, and uh, yeah, so, of course, Brendan Harley, I don't understand why the face is like that, should be wrong, I mean, yes, it should be, so, whatever, let's continue, uh, to the F1 Black Sea Grand Prix, and the Charles Leclerc finally wins. Of course, he didn't win in Bahrain, real world. But um, that's all fine. He can win, of course. He has the potential to win. And both Red Bulls, what, second and third, rounding off the podium. So, yeah, that's decent. So let's go back to the car and no, actually go to the inbox, the pre race uh, report. I mean, I don't really care about those. And there's this weird stuff improved parts uh should be all fine i think 
So let's continue for probably a few days. We have that new front wing built, so we can do it. And uh, yeah, it should be all fine. And now we got this uh, vote of maybe longer practice sessions. So I'm gonna vote for really. I, I love longer practice sessions instead of those short practice ones. Yeah, it's more, way more fun, I think. So yeah, so let's go back to the car side, should be all fine, because I don't need to fix that much, I don't think so, at least, so, uh, yeah, let's continue to the day where we goes to Monique, and the car should be all fine, I think, I'm gonna fit those two brand new brakes and the front wing, so that's gonna be great, and let's head on to F2 2020 Season 2, Round 6 of the Munich Grand Prix. Here we go. And now it's Friday, of course, Munich Grand Prix practice. And we're going to go for, of course, as usual, Simulaxanen and Jahan Ravala. And we're going to fix the setup, more downforce. Uh, I think uh, maybe understeer handling and speed balance wise is uh, acceleration should be all fine and using soft tires should be good so downforce say actually the setup we're going for pretty much the same um, as like both drivers sh should be the same so, yeah, let's head on to the practice. So let's send them both out straight out once the session has started, just to get some knowledge. Okay, they're back. Setup wise, not too good for both of them. Need a bit of twitching. I think more downforce, definitely. And uh, handling wise, more to the oversteer. I think and of course speed balance a little bit more top speed they say they're saying that they are uh, hitting the limiter on the straight so that's not great no that isn't well same for laxadon of course more downforce and more oversteer but I think speed balance wise a bit twitching needs to be done and uh, yeah, let's send both of them out again. Three laps and soft tires. Let's go. So they're coming back in for setup check. Absolute perfect. One excellent and double great. So that is pretty decent. So let's send him out for medium tires and qualifying trim. And Laxanen. No, actually, it's race trim. And, uh, yeah, send him out with medium, pretty decent, absolutely same setup, actually. Just, yeah, pretty decent. So, yeah, that is the practice session. Let's head on to Saturday qualifying, and now it's Q1. So that is pretty decent. Hopefully they can get into, Q get into Q3 this time. And, of course, qualifying trim and super overtake mode for uh, Minchaka, soft tires and qualifying trim for Laxanen, and the setup wise should be fine, we're just gonna save the setup of course, and uh, yeah, for both of the drivers of course, so should be all fine, and uh, yeah, let's take qualifying, so it's we have 10 minutes, and let's send both of them out straight out again. Usually I'll do it, why not? And uh, this track is mostly very good for us. Like, I, I have no struggle with this track, actually. Yeah, double perfects for both of the drivers, that's what I'm looking for. And, 
yeah, it should be pretty decent. Of course, we're lacking pace as usually usual. So to the end, two minutes and twenty-five seconds left. We're a uh, P ten and P thirteen, I think, or P fourteen. P ten and P fourteen. So we definitely need to send up both of them because. You never know, you never know. Like Pierre Gasly in Bahrain qualifying. That was that was just yeah, crazy. Of course. Of course Red Bull doesn't seem too good this year, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. So that's why I go for Renault, although Richard is not doing great. But um time will tell really. So um wow they absolutely smashed it. P2 for Manchaka. And uh, Laxon gets into Q2 by skin of a teeth, boy. That's not too... That doesn't seem too great, is it? But anyways, both of the drivers get into Q2. And and uh, hopefully, yeah, both, hopefully both of the drivers can get into Q3. So um, now it's Q2. It's uh, sunny. I guess I'm not too sure. So no rain seems like. It doesn't seem like there's rain. So let's send them out on medium, of course, because as you can see, we have already used half of the soft tires, so that's not great. We should use some mediums to just set a bank clap. And uh, yeah. And actually, there's this. I think of this. Thought of this. There's some dirty air, might heat up his tyre, so we just need to back up and wait a bit and just all disable the auto function and let me do it, of course. I'm not that great, although, but we need that gap. Um, it's just. Yeah. Still perfect, perfect. Oh my god, we're smashing it. See, so that's decent. And here it goes for the qualifying. That's decent for Laxonen. Very decent indeed. Although he's lacking some pace. At the end, he just set a faster lap time than Minchaka. But both of them is P13, P14. Which I. It's not that surprising. Because this is medium tyres. You don't expect much from medium tyres. So yeah, of course I'll gonna send both of them out again but there's a bit little bit of traffic there's a driver behind which is dumb I guess I don't know perfect perfect good perfect that's not too bad and setting their lap time should be all right green sectors for both of the drivers sector two both green and here he goes to, for the line, and it's just skin of the teeth again, 8th and 10th, and getting into Q2, that is, that's crazy, mate, that's crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's not too bad, I don't think so. And, uh, Lando Norris! Usually the pole sitter actually out of Q2. That's a shocking news to be fair. And uh, yeah, let's get into Q3. And it's going to be amazing, isn't it? And it really is sunny in Q2, uh, Q3, I believe. And uh, we've waited a bit. And I, I thought I'm going to go for one run. But it turns out I'm not. And I'm gonna set it, set the first bank lap on the worn soft tires. It's fine, I guess. Because I've absolutely messed up. But hopefully, we can set the second lap time. Hopefully, just hopefully. It doesn't mean much, really. So, uh, this lap, hopefully, it's gonna be great. I mean, Chaka absolutely overtakes Laxanen there. Can he get a good run here? Now, I'm thinking of bringing them back in, but I think it's all fine. So they're in. Let's send them both out again for the lap. It's tight. It is tight. Really, it is. So we're going to wait two seconds and send Laxanen out. P10 currently. 
last place of Q3, of course. I'm in Chaka a while. Meanwhile, it's fifth. P5. That's not too bad, is it? No, that isn't. Yeah, I'm answering my, my questions. It should be answered by you guys, the viewers, of course. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I answered my own questions. That's pretty decent. And, uh... Yeah, it should be pretty decent. Menchaka P7. Laxon improves by a lot, but still P10. Although, yeah, it's pretty fine, I guess. It's probably showing where the car is, about like P8 to P14. Ran like that region, I'll say. So, uh, yeah, let and now. Let's go to the race, boys. So, P7, P10, not too bad. I mean, no, it isn't. And, uh, Munich. Yes, it's now Sunday, Munich. And let's start our race, hopefully, quite good. And we're going to go for light-footed soft tyres and soft tyre knowledge, as I think we're going to go for soft tyres at pretty much half of the race, at least. So, um... Car setup should be all fine, and then of course attack, attack, and overtake, and overtake for both drivers. And uh, here he goes for them. And uh, five lights, and here he goes for. The Munich Grand Prix, Menchaka gets a r absolute slow start. He's overtaken by his teammate, Laxinen. That's not too great, is it? No, that isn't. And uh, Menchaka's down to ninth. Will he get revenge? No, he just got someone in the inside. That's no good. And that's P10 do dropped down from seventh to tenth. That's not too good, is it? No, that isn't. Again, I just answered my own question. That's pretty good, right? Seems like. And, uh... Challenging P9 it. Seems like he did get it, but... Into this chicane, tr very tricky. Seems like he did get it, and that's pretty decent. So, um... Yeah... Decent, decent. So, nearly the heart, nearly the whole lap. It's now P8 and P9, lap one out of 28, which is quite a long one. But I hope I will do like a l uh, longer races in the future in F1, of course. So yeah, let's. And now it's lap seven. So let's pit. Laxinen first, this tire wear is worse, uh, it's more worse than Menchaka, because Menchaka of course got the light footed soft tire, which is all fine I guess, so um, yeah, they're probably coming in now, Laxinen is coming in this lap of course, we don't want the double stack, we really don't want the double stack. And uh, here he goes for Laxinen going into the pit, and that is pretty much a good pit stop, which is the refueling takes the long, it, it is the longest thing to do in a pit lane, of course. That's uh, not too bad, and uh, let's not push Laxinen, of course. And, uh, nah, don't push his fuel, don't uh, use a lot of his fuel. And now let's pit Minchaka in, using the last uh, soft tire uh, pack or whatever, and uh, lap eight, of course. I, I think I'm gonna let them come in lap sixteen. Change the medium tires, of course. So yeah, so here he comes, and. Uh, that's a pretty decent pit stop. Refueling is the, is the slowest thing ever in the world. 
and uh, actually he's just jumped someone in a pit lane, that's decent. Now it's lap 16, oh no, that's 18, and uh, we're going to pit for me medium tyres and fill up the rest of the tank maybe, just uh, remove one lap of fuel, that should be all fine, and fast pit stop. And here he goes, uh, of course, next lap, there's no way he's coming in this lap. So, of course, I've already planned the strategy, the mastermind strategy. So, yeah, here he comes into the pit lane. Should be all fine, medium tyres. And, uh, yeah, out he goes. Now we need to pit him in Chaka, of course, but we're going to stay him out for a little bit longer because he still has fuel, he still has tyres, I mean, so I don't need to pit him so early, I guess. It's a bit too unrealistic. Now we are going to pit him, of course, and we're going to add a bit of fuel, seven laps of fuel, six, nah, seven laps of fuel, and, uh... The front wing looks a bit iffy, but that's I think that's all right. It, I think it can go to the end of the race. So, uh, yeah. So, around the final few corners, and here he comes into the pit lane. Let's see if it is a good pit stop. Tires are all fine. Refueling should, be not, should not be a problem. And that is a seven-second pit stop. That's pretty fast. And um, last three laps remaining now. Lap 26, and uh, oh no, really, Laxaner, you just got drive through penalty for cutting the corner. You're naughty, really, you're very naughty for cutting the corner and put yourself down. And uh, yeah, we need to hold off Foreman Sharker here. Drive through penalty is down in P14 now, that's, that's bonkers. And uh, Sharker, of course, that front wing. And it's not too great. People f behind closing in massively. That's definitely not the way to go, of course. And uh, yeah, final lap, lap 28 out of 28. And uh, Laxinen, meanwhile, P40. I'm just going to push him, really. There's no point of holding him back. Push his tires. I don't care if it's overheated or not. Uh, Menchaka P8. Points. I need points. Points is the most important thing in motorsport. Really. So, um, and wins, of course. And he comes home in P8. Laxinen jumped uh, to P13 from 14th, of course. And that's not too bad, I guess. It isn't too bad, of course. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. So, um, tie history should be all fine, and uh, yeah, of course, we did that two stop. Everyone pretty much did two stop, there's no way you can do one stop because of the refuel thing, which is dumb. I hate refueling, so whatever. Let's go to the scrantineering, should be all fine, and uh, yeah, Minchaka P8, very decent, and uh. Not too bad of a result, to be fair. And. Decent. P7 on the constructors. We have dropped down one place, which is fine, I guess. Um, team report everyone gets, uh, of course, the driver's stat increase. And that is not too bad, to be fair. So. Yeah. And, I mean, it's not too bad. Of course, our car is not where we are, uh, not where we're expecting, but I think it's all fine, to be fair. So, um, yeah, let's continue. We lost 342,000, which is, I mean, it's not that much, but, yeah, definitely costs us in the long run, of course. So that is the episode here. Hope you guys fully enjoy. Next time, I think we will go to the Guildford Grand Prix round, I think it's seven. And uh, be sure to watch uh, 
it's gonna be great fun. Standing wise, of course, constructors P seven and Guildford is a very high demanding tire air circuit. Uh, Menchaka is down P fourteen. Laxanin is P nine. So yeah, that is today's uh, episode. Hope you guys fully enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next video.